It's down in the den. So go tell a friend. The best podcast on earth is about to begin. We got jokes and news and movie reviews. After dark and NC-17 with the crew. Interviews with the best artists around. So like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Let's go. Like, comment, subscribe. The show's starting right now. Welcome to Down in the Den. It's your boy, Mars, and I'll be your guide on this tour D-Force episode. Joining me here in the den is a very talented musician, my man, Mathis. You can find his music streaming everywhere, and he's been gracious enough to join me to share his story for all the friends of the den. So my brother, Mathis, the one and only, how are you? How has 22 been treating you? 22, 2022 has been really good, man. Uh, for everyone out there, my name is Matthias. Uh, it's really good to be here. Mars, really good to talk to you finally. I know we've been linking yeah. up on the social media a lot, yes. you know, liking you each other's you. posts and stuff. Yes, yeah, man, uh, I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Big fan of you as well, man. Uh, really, really love what you're doing out there for, for the community as well, man. It's, it's so cool. Thank you, man. It's all about just sharing the love for creators, man. And, uh, you guys are so important. I always say art is the one thing that crosses race. It crosses creed, religion, everything. It's the most important thing that separates us from the animals. So it's important that we always have a platform for you guys to tell your story and just and just uh, share. So um, thank you for being a part of the community. I'm very happy to be here, man. Absolutely. So we begin every interview with the same question. It's, it's the legend. It's how every single creator finds their passion purpose it's the origin story so i ask you what's your origin story how did you discover your passion for creating music well i've uh if we're going to take it all the way back to the origin story back to the beginning let's take it to the uh, you know let's let's get to the root man uh, i grew up uh in a uh uh musical singing family everyone you know uh, loved loved music in some capacity and just you know sang and I was always around that environment growing up uh and then I was uh as I got older uh I learned you know uh how to play instruments guitar and and I just continued my passion for singing and uh songwriting uh as I grew older of course you know I did the whole band thing for many many years uh toured coast to coast man been there all over uh, and everywhere, you know, been doing that. And, you know, it's, it's really cool uh, to come, you know, full circle now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been doing this for a long time and, um, you know, to, to have been working with bands and, and for these past, you know, for the past decade and now to, to branch out on a solo project um, has been a different uh, experience, you know, uh, the pandemic really forced me to get back into my own creative bubble. The group that I was working with for the past 10 years kind of had to take a little bit of hiatus uh, and everyone, you know, kind of just had to go back and, and kind of just get back to your, your, your own little personal creativity. And uh, that's, that's where Matthias was born. Uh, I was able to to refine that passion, you know, that fire. And uh, I, I put out two songs about three months ago. They've been very well received. So I've, I'm so excited about that. And I would say that's probably the origins of Matthias, man. It's it's really a fresh project, man. Not even a full year old. Love it. And, uh, and you've been, you know, in this industry for a while now, but it's a fresh new start. You're going out there and you're making waves. I see you're out there touring every week, you know, going out there, performing, mm -hmm. jamming, rocking it out. How has it been? And this is a question that I ask a lot of the artists, especially people that have been on the road before. We didn't know if we were going to get back to this for a while. We're in uncharted territory right now. How does it feel to be back on the road performing, especially performing under this new persona, under this new theme of being you know solo and really creating on your own you know honestly uh i missed performing live uh that is you know if, if you're an artist and, and you you love to perform that's where you feel 
the most at home you know you love to create you love to do that but most of all you love to perform and show what you've been working on to everyone uh so it it really was kind of different knowing what shows to book again it kind of felt like the entire scene was just wiped out and uh you know you're like who's still playing what venues are booking where are there requirements for these venues and furthermore uh getting people convincing people to come out to see you play has been a challenge on itself because there's still so much uh fear you know out there with everything that's going on and uh, I, I don't blame anyone for having those fears but I mean it as a musician you're you're wanting to perform and and getting people to come out is is still where it's at so uh so far it it has been really cool to see what people are 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 doing now for live shows and the people who are, are so ready, it feels like they're ready to come out to shows again. Yeah. And that's been a beautiful thing. So it, it's been a great, you know, seeing people out there again. Love it. I love it. And you're, and you're absolutely right. I started my love for music at a young age, but really it became a passion once I got to the age where I can go to concerts. So we're slowly but surely getting there, but I love seeing that. And I see the faces on the people. I see your face. I see you're living it, you're loving it. So that was something I definitely wanted to get to the bottom of. Oh yeah, man. It's it's been it's been really cool, man. And uh here in San Antonio where I'm based at, there's a wonderful community, uh, lots of love everywhere, people willing to work with you and, and new venues coming up, you know, uh post pandemic. So it's been really cool. Absolutely. Now you mentioned the two singles that you dropped earlier this year, the details and don't bother to out right now, streaming everywhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, you listen to music, check them out. They're dope. We always give our, our stamp of approval and it definitely gets the big Demi approved stamp. I love what you're doing. Tell us how That's those singles awesome. came about and, and created until they're, they're totally, I don't want to say totally different songs, but they have totally different vibes is what I want to yeah. say. So uh, tell me how both of those songs came about. So uh, again, you know, this is uh, going post pandemic, you know, I'm sorry, pre pandemic and, uh, you know, getting back, you know, on, on my computer, you know, uh, working with, you know, garage band and, you know, just making your own little demos. And, uh, you know, I, I had uh, m the group that I was in uh, prior to uh, my solo project had, we'd done a couple of music videos and, and I had worked with this uh, producer named Freddie Munoz. Uh, who is also uh, an artist himself. He, he uh, does hip hop and rap and he's really, really talented at, at rapping, but also talented at producing music um, and videos, uh, just, just all around talented guy. But um, him and I, you know, uh, cultivated that relationship while working with my, my old band and that has continued into my solo project. And uh, I had you know, been going back and forth with him, you know, via email and text and stuff, you know, sending songs. Well, hey, what do you think of this? What do you think of this? And he was about to drop his album and he asked me to feature on his album. And I ended up doing two songs for him. Um, and because of that, uh, it ended up being uh, an extremely fruitful uh, exchange because he's like, yo, man, I love the tracks that you did for me. I've got these two songs that I think would be great for you. And I, I, I've worked on them and here you go. And the first one that he sent me was the beat for the details. And um, I, 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 I kind of, you know, was in my own little personal, you know, thing going on, uh, you know, and I, I created that song and it, it just, it just hit, you know, in a different way. And I was like, yo man, this song is a vibe right now, I, I think. I think this is something, I think this might be something here. And, you know, uh, you know, we kept going and then he's like, well, I've got this other song uh, that we worked with, uh, with another friend of ours who played guitar on the track, uh, Ian. Um, and uh, he uh, sent me that track and that's, that happened to be the beat for Don't Bother. So I ended up getting on that song and I just created these two little jams, man, the, the bangers, you know, and, and I was like, you know, this is this is turning into something here. I, I really think I've got I'm sitting on some fire right now. And 
you know, we, we ended up getting those songs, you know, mixed and mastered and, you know, uh, we released them. And in that time that we released them, it's been maybe about four months now. Um, they've garnered up to uh, 32K plus streams on, uh, on Spotify, which is incredible. I was not expecting that kind of reception but it's been so awesome. So that's how those two singles came about, you know, really just uh, opening myself up as a, as an artist to, you know, work with different producers, different, you know, people in different head spaces and music mindsets. And, and, you know, me just wanting to expand my own sound as well uh, has really been uh, an incredible experience for Matthias. Love it. And music is nothing but an exchange of ideas. You're transporting something that you hear in your head into energies that you're just transferring and giving. So it's just a transfer inside of ideas. And I love that collaboration that brings fruit that you weren't expecting. So I, I love hearing those type of stories of coming together to put this art out. So I appreciate you for sharing that. Absolutely, man. It, it's a it's a beautiful thing to collaborate with uh, like-minded artists, people who are just, you know, come from different backgrounds and everything it, and it comes together and it's, it, the end product is just so beautiful. Absolutely. It's like a smorgasbord. Everybody's bringing their own little yes. own treat to the table. You know, as long as there's no raisins in a potato salad, I am ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready. I 100, 100% agree on that. <laughs> so I am a journalist by nature. So I, I would be failing my journalistic duty. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's going to be a thing today. Give us a Thanks. scoop. What do you have in store for us for the rest of 2022? Or what can you share that you have in store for us? The Friends of the Den have to know. All right. So Friends of the Den, I've got cooking up a brand new music video for Don't Bother that I will be shooting in March for sure. That's definitely going to happen. Uh, I'm also cooking up some new songs. I've uh, been working on some stuff. I think it's going to it's going to hit really hard too. I've, I've been performing these songs in my live set. I don't have them. Well, I, I've got demo versions of them recorded, but uh, they're, they're really cool. And I'm excited, you know, to keep, you know, moving forward with that. Um, got South by Southwest, you know, that I want to go check out, if not even to perform, to just promote, you know, and go hang out up there. Um, you know, there's, there's tons of stuff. That's a really cool thing about, you know, Texas, there's a lot of little music hubs around, you know, that you can hit Austin, Houston, Dallas. Uh, there's just so many cool. And even down in the Valley, they just love music so much here. And it's really cool to, uh, to get out there. Um, you guys are yeah, killing so, it right now. Lots of den mates are from the yeah. San Antonio and Austin area. You guys are murdering it right now. I'll be out there for South uh, South by Southwest. Uh, so oh, hopefully man. we can link out there. If you're out there yeah. and I'm out there, we'll definitely. definitely. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So what else? That'd be what, so cool. Absolutely. What else do we have in store? So uh, I'm working uh, on, uh, I've got a couple of uh, really cool shows coming up. I've got one actually coming up this Saturday uh, on February 26, 2022, out here in San Antonio at 502 Bar with a killer lineup of artists that are, the show is just going to be fire, fire, fire all the way through. Um, I got that coming up. I've got March 30th uh, playing another show with a group uh, called Stereo Romance really good uh group that's you know that's also on the come up they've got a lot of really cool things that they're doing um and uh yeah just booking booking lots of more shows really trying to get back out there lots of social media um really trying to just create that content to keep you know people interested and uh keep them locked in you know because i i've got a lot to share and i'm ready to share it you have the tools, you have the three P's that we always say, purpose, passion, and a plan. You have them in spades. So thank you yes. again for sharing that gift with us. You rock, bro. I love your music. I love your sound. And like I said, I look forward thank to uh, in March getting out there and we can uh, collab on some things. Yes. So uh, you're, you're killing it out there. So no I can't way. let you go, however. I can't let you go just yet because I got to okay. get you a den mate stamp in your passport. You're, you're in your official like a referee with a whistle but you can't just give it away 
We have right. to play a game. We have to earn it. So this comes to the fun part. The game this year, we play a different game every year. And this year it's called If You Don't Know, Now You Know. Baby, baby, shout out to B.I.G. It's brought to you by the good folks over at Poddats. Poddats is the perfect tool for podcasters to spice up their interviews with awesome questions so you don't have to ask the same damn 10 questions over and over again. I'm a podcaster myself. Obviously, you're listening. You're looking at me right now, and you know that I ask the best questions. You know how? Because I have help from Poddats. So, Use the code the den. That's T H E D E N. Get ten percent off of your first order, and we're gonna rock it out right now. So, are you ready, brother? I'm ready. All right. So these questions are completely random. They're they're all about just kind of really getting to the bottom. So let's get our pod decks up. Pull it up. We're gonna get in your mind. So the first category that you have. All right, is would you rather, all right, first category, would you rather face your worst fear head on or confess your greatest sin online and have it go viral? Hmm. I think I would face my worst fear. I respect that. Yeah. I, res- I respect that. I think my worst sin is, uh, I drank a bottle of wine when I was like 13 or something like that. So <laughs> I'm, I'm a square. So that I respect that. I respect that. All right. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. All right. Get a little crazy. So the next category is from this or that. And this or that. Motivate or inspire. And why? Which one do you feel is more important? To motivate or to inspire? I definitely feel it's more important to inspire. Um, You know, I hope that, you know, in the things that I would be able to do, I'd be able to inspire people. And not only, you know, that would, the inspiration would create the motivation. It's a one-two punch, you know, so definitely inspire. Absolutely. It's the spark to the flame. You can't have one without the other, but you have to have that spark. Gotta have have to have something. You got to. Okay, I love it. We're getting it. It's the juice. We're getting it. We're getting it. So this is from the music interview section, which we do that a lot here. So this is a good question. And this is perfect for you as you're a musician's musician. You 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 play that thing. So what is the one piece of music gear or equipment that you cannot live without? What is your baby? I know there's got to be one piece. One instrument that you're like, no, no one touches this. This is my baby. Oh, man. Um, Right now, I would say it's probably going to be my guitar. I love that thing. That thing plays so good, man. Every time I pick it up, it's just magic. My guitar. You're killing it. You're you're absolutely right. That leave leave that man's guitar alone, or you're going to have to talk to me. That's that's a guitar. Don't touch it. (laughs) As Hammer would say, don't touch it <laughs> or don't yep. touch the. I forgot what Hammer said. Shout out to Hammer. Can't touch this. There yes. you go. There. You go. <laughs> All right. So this, okay, this one is introspective. It's from the self growth category. Who in your circle, it could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a mentor, who has contributed most to who you are today? It's really good. Um, I would say, I would say that it would have to be outside of, I would say my dad. My dad has been a huge inspiration uh, just in, in, you know, my work ethic when it comes to music, uh, just my creativity, my passion, uh, just, you know, always, you know, committing to, to something, you know, that I would say that really is a huge inspiration for me. I give it up to my dad. Shout out to the dads out there. You guys are so important. Shout out dads. Everyone, no, no one gives respect to the dads, but we here at the Den, shout out to the dads that are out there. We need you. We yes. appreciate you guys. Shout out, Craig. You know, I talk yes. about my dad every episode. I'm a, I'm a father as well, so yes. Congrats shout out to dads. the fathers. Shout out to yes. the dads. Now, 
Final question from the icebreakers category. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? You would have the ability to do anything you want and you would not fail at it. So there's no risk. What would you do? Mm. I would, I would just sing every day. I would sing every single day. Okay. That's, that's the dream. Being able to live to do what you love, that's the dream. That's a perfect I answer. That's sing, five five. Yeah, man, I would sing all day, every day. I love it. Hey, and we would listen to you sing every day. That would be the fair change. <laughs> that, that's a fair change, brother. That's the, that's the dream, bro. That's the dream. <laughs> that's the dream. I love it. This has been a blast. So you're, you're in. Referee with a whistle. That's how official. Boom. Stamp. Then mate stamp right in your passport. Den. That means you're affiliated. You're familiar. You're with yes. us. That goes with all the promotion. We link you in our uh, group chat. We have a ton of diverse artists, producers, creators, love just it. like yourself that love, love art, it. that love sharing. So we'll put you in that group chat, link you in so with uh, a bunch of talented artists. So we're all about the collaborative spirit. And of course, we'll always promote your art. You got a show. When you post it, you're going to see that Mars Entertainment coming right after we're going to be posting. We're going to share because that's what we're all about, having grow. Uh, we also have merch available for you that we'll send out to you. Maybe we'll be able to hand it to you in person. So we appreciate oh, you. You've earned the stamp. The floor is yours. Any shout outs you want to give, uh, give the people your social media, your website. Let them know where they can find you. The floor is yours. All right, man. Uh, I am so happy to be part of the den. Mars, thank you so much. Shout out you for sure for doing all that you do for, for the community, for, for entertainment, for, for everything. Shout out you. Um, where you can find me, uh, MatthiasMedia.com is my official website. Primarily, I'm active on Instagram and you can, my tag is at Matthias underscore music TX. Um, if you are following the den, you can find me liking every single one of y'all's posts. I'm always on there. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I'm on everything, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, you know, everywhere you can do social media, I'm trying to get out there. So if anything, man, uh, check my Spotify and my Apple music links. Uh, the songs are don't bother in the details. You can find those anywhere you stream music. Then made it say, get them on your title the artist get a better share yes. a bigger share so yes yeah, we're on title too he's on title so stream it on your title i tell yes. everybody stream it on the title put it on you'll love it you know it's uh then made approved so i'm bad in 1000 i don't refer whack music yes. only to gold so please play Ooh. it you'll love it go to sleep play it wake up play it you know you get it rinse cycle repeat yes. play it play yes. it play it get those numbers up Brother, I thank you so much. I Mars, thank you. you. Thank you for carving out some time. We're going to keep rocking with you, of course. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another stellar episode of Down in the Den. Please like, follow, comment, subscribe. You know how we do it and how we end every single episode the same damn way. Peace, love, unity, respect, deuces. And we're out.